Hello everyone, welcome back to Nail Art by Nessa. I am Vanessa and this is another AliExpress nail art haul video. So let's get started. Um, so for a couple of these packages, I actually already opened only because I filmed it, but then I had problems with the footage. So yeah, so a few of them I've already opened, I've been using, um, they're not completely with all the packaging that I originally had. So this one specifically, it did come wrapped in plastic. Um, so it's in this little tiny envelope and I got this little guy, but it was wrapped in plastic. So this one took about two weeks. It's from the Amy Nail Art Store on AliExpress and I paid $1.56 including shipping. And of course that's Canadian dollars. And honestly guys, I have been using this one for a little bit now and I actually really, really like it. Um, so it's just a little thing to hold your brushes. So it's like this. Um, I do have this other one that looks kind of like a crown and it's super cute, but it's not very practical. Um, first off, your brushes are on more of an angle. So you can see it's quite high. So they tend to want to slide off a lot of the time. And you can really only put like one or two on this one because once you do, all the tips will start to mat, like hit up and then you're getting everything dirty with each other. And then for it to not to slide, you can do that. But then obviously you can only do that with like a couple of them. So this one I find is really, really great. It's uh, way less of an angle, so they actually stay there and you can put five on it. So anyways, recommend it, super cheap, super cute. Okay, next item. Um, so this one, it's like this tiny little package. Um, so these guys were in there. Um, this one took exactly a month to arrive. I paid, well they were $2.56 each. Um, I paid $3.22 in shipping. So in total I paid $8.34 for both of these. And it's from the Sunny Beautiful Care Store. So this one is supposed to be rose gold. And of course, with any polishes, I will be swatching them at the end of the video. So it does just look silver, but I have a feeling if I mix it up, we're going to see the color come out. Yeah, there we go. But it's really thick too. Yeah, I think of that really good mix. Um, it has been sitting for quite a while, but really pretty. I love that rose gold. It is so pretty. So I'll just bring it up to the camera so you can see. It still needs a little bit better mix, but you can see the color has changed dramatically. Okay, I'm just gonna clean this up. And for the gold one, and once again, you can see where it's already mixed a little bit gold and then it's like separated into silver. Um, so yeah, let's just mix this one up a little bit and see what it looks like. I don't really want to take that off. Oh, it's got like a little bit here so that you can scrape off your stuff. That's good. I always like it when it has a little scraper on the bottle of the jar. So you can see it is turning gold. Yeah, they are definitely a little thicker. Really beautiful. Okay, so we will test these out at the end of the video. All right, next item. Okay, so we have this little package. It came in just this thin material. And in here, I got some fake lashes that I've already tried. Some little snowflakes. They're like little metal snowflakes. And this polish. So this package, um, this one took basically a month to arrive. The polish itself, I paid $4.56. The 
these snowflakes I paid $1.18 and the lashes were $2.34. I paid $3.63 altogether and it was $11.70 including shipping. Um, and this is from the 1988 makeup store. Oh, that's the year my little brother was born, 1988. Okay, so let's take a look. Really cute little snowflakes. It's kind of not the season, but that's okay. I'll have them for next year. Those are so cute. Yeah, I really like that. And they're all like, well, not all of them, but there's like different styles in here. Like that guy. Focus. There we go. Yeah, really pretty. Really like those. And then, okay, so I got these lashes. I know I don't normally show like makeup stuff and whatnot, but these lashes are those lashes that have like the, it's supposed to be like almost like reusable glue on it where it's like this sticky sort of silicone stuff. Um, I have to say that they don't work very well. So you can kind of see here, but like, especially if you put on any eyeliner, like it doesn't stay. So I might try them when I'm not wearing any makeup, but then I don't want false eyelashes when I'm not wearing makeup. Like that looks to me kind of funny. Um, if you're gonna have extreme lashes, you kind of want like eyeliner and everything and then it just doesn't stick. So I do not recommend these ones, just in case you were looking at them. And then last but not least is this polish. I actually have used this polish a couple times already and I will add some pictures so you can see what it looks like. Um, this one, it does not capture well on camera. Um, so the photos of the nails, they look better in real life. Let's just put it that way. Um, oh, actually, I am already wearing some, so I've got it on my nail here. So that's what that looks like when you swatch it. I will still do some swatching at the end of the video of this one, but that's what it looks like. So really cool product. It is very thick. I find that from this one, it is very, very thick products. Like any ones that come in these bottles. And it's interesting because I'm starting to notice that there's a few different ones. Like you can see it's the same bottle, but it's a different brand. And then I bought some more of these. And I'll show you in another video, but it's, it's got a different brand on it, even though I thought I was buying all Annie's. So anyways, I, I'm not sure if they're like connected or how it goes, but anyways, so that was that. All right, next package. All right, this one just came in a regular bubble wrap. I got two new books for my stamping plates. That's funny, they almost look like they're the same color in this lighting, but one's kind of pink and the other one's more purple. Um, so these ones took a little over a month, a month and a week to arrive. It's from the Major Digit DIY Nail Store. And it was $9.80 for these two. It was $4.90 each. And I thought they were really pretty just because of the sort of reflective. And they're kind of clear, which is kind of neat. And then these ones, it just has the little slots that go like this, which is, I find these ones are actually really easy to use, which is nice. And I believe there's 20 slots. So I got two of them. I think I might be moving my um, Beauty Big Bang ones into this. The Beauty Big Bang ones I usually keep like in their little sleeves because they're really pretty, but it's just starting to get annoying having them in the little box. So, and this one. So, they do look exactly the same. I think they are exactly the same. It's funny because they were supposed to be two different colors, but they look exactly the same to me. Where is it? I don't know, I'm tripping out. Can't tell. The reflectiveness of all these lights. Okay, okay, no, there you can see. One's purple and one's pink. They're just really similar. Yeah. 
All right, next package. Let's open this guy. It's a little bit bigger package. Oops, see all my writing. It's a little bit bigger package. Um, this one's from the Major Digit Official Store. It's a giant plate. Um, let's see, I bought this one during a sale. So this one took a month to arrive. Um, it was $9.76 for the plate, but then it was $5.62 in shipping. I got basically a dollar off, 94 cents, so it ended up being $14.50 for this one plate. Um, I do find that these bigger plates are a little bit more expensive, um, but these are like those gamer plates, so I would assume it's because there are all these like cool sort of gamer images. Um, I specifically got it because I thought it would be really cool to have like Superman. Um, you've got like some of the other symbols here. So this is the uh, Hydra from Marvel. Um, you got like Chewbacca there. It looks like the Oogie Boogie Man. So you got a few different things from like cartoons and stuff. Here's Batman and Iron Man. I have the Black Lives Matter fist, though I don't think that Black Lives Matters was happening yet when this plate was designed, but regardless, you got the fist. Um, you got Jack Skeleton, you got Spider-Man. You have a little bit of like Sailor Moon. So Sailor Moon going all across here. Oh, uh, Cat in the Hat, Winnie the Pooh. Um, Rainbow Bright. I don't know if any of you have know who Rainbow Bright is, but you would have to be basically 40 or maybe slightly older to know Rainbow Bright, but yes. Um, we have some more Mario stuff down here. We have the dog from uh, The Grinch. Ghostbusters, Harry Potter. We got the cat from, um, what is it, the Cheshire cat from Alice in Wonderland. Oh, there's the Grinch himself. And what's this guy? He's like the Lorlax or I don't know what he was, but he's from another one of those um, Cat in the Hat books. Dr. Seuss. There's the monkey from Aladdin. And we got the Cookie Monster. There's so many characters on here, it's crazy. Um, there's Dumbo, another Black Lives Matter like fist. Yeah, like so much on this. Like every time I look at it, I'm seeing more. It's like, can't remember what that's called, but that's from that show, Doctor Who. I never watched it, so if anyone's like a fan, I'm sorry. Um, and Breaking Bad, like that's crazy. Is <laughs> I wasn't expecting to see that on here. Yeah, really cool plate. Looking forward to trying it out and using it. If anyone wants some Superman nails, I got you covered. All right, next package. Um, this one, I bought a bunch of brushes. I needed some better brushes. Um, I've been using cheap brushes and I thought, you know what, it'd be really cool to have some better ones, especially now that I know how to take care of them a little bit better. Um, so, let's see here. Um, for each of the, okay, so the, some of these are single brushes and then some of them are double. So these ones are the uh, double headed and then these ones are single. So the single brushes um, were $3.37 and then the double brushes were $3.89 each. So only a little bit more. Um, shipping was $9.64. So I definitely paid more in shipping for these ones. And in total, I paid $27.53 for these brushes. Okay, um, unfortunately, I was kind of hoping that they would have like the sizes of the brushes um, like on here somehow so that you would know when you're looking at it. Uh, this is another one that I already opened so if they look dirty. It's just because I opened it and then the video footage didn't work out. So it's got my fingerprints all over it. Um, so this one, let's see, this one's probably the, so this is six millimeter it must be and 14. It's quite long. And there we go. Can you see that? There. And then the six. And then for the next one, this one would be the five and the eight. So it's a five millimeter. 
and then the eight millimeter. Okay, and then the next one, this one, I think is the oval number four. Yeah, it must be. Feels like a nice brush. And I'm kind of happy to have lids for everything now, which would be really nice. And then let's see, this one, this one is the Universal. And then last but not least, this one will be the petal shape. Yes. Oh, it's got like a long hair. They didn't trim. Do you see that? One long hair sticking out. Guess I'll have to trim that myself. Yeah. And it looks a little lopsided or something. Is it just me? Is it like on an angle? Or am I just being super critical? That's possible. <laughs> Okay, well anyway, so I got those brushes and they are super pretty. They match my other stuff that I have. Everything's kind of this like oil slick. Really like it. Oh, okay, hopefully that doesn't happen frequently. That one is really loose. That one's really tight. Maybe I put them on the opposite. Yeah, that fits better. Okay. I don't want the lids falling off. All right. Next package. Okay, for this next one, I actually have two packages. Um, they're both from Beauty Big Bang, official store. Uh, but basically, my package didn't arrive. So this one, okay, so this one took over three months to arrive. So I actually got a refund. Um, it was $9.43. So like, I got a refund. I obviously didn't think that these ones were coming, but let's take a look at them before we look at the next package. So this is Shop Ants, um, which seems to be like part of Beauty Big Bang. I don't know. Um, so this one's kind of cool. It's like a whole bunch of skulls, like every type of skull you can think of. Um, this one is Shop Ants XL 036. Rock and roll, you've got like, coconut skulls, like anything you can think of in skulls. A pizza skull. <laughs> I really like this image here. I think that's really cool. And you have like a skull balloon. Okay, so that one. And then these two. So I really wanted both of these stamping plates. Um, so this is a Beauty Big Bang. And it's kind of like an Alice in Wonderland. So Beauty Big Bang Accent XL003. Um, it's got a few other characters on it, but it is definitely mostly Alice in Wonderland. You got the Cheshire Cat, you got kind of like Alice sitting here. You got the Drink Me Bottle, the Cheshire Cat again, um, the Mad Hatter, kind of like the bunny running, the cards and stuff. You got Alice falling. You got the little card man there. You got the little door with her feet. But then you got a Pinocchio, right? So there's like a few things, like that's obviously Alice in Wonderland. But there's definitely a few things like this, I would say is more like um, Cinderella. You know, maybe this is Tinkerbell. So you got kind of a mix. You got like Aladdin's lamp there kind of thing. So it's a little bit of a mix, but mostly Alice in Wonderland stuff. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. The little... Uh, um, caterpillar smoking. Okay, so that one and then this one. Beauty Big Bang Game XL002. And this one's awesome. I mean, Tetris, like, <laughs> got like Sudoku and like, yeah, a little bit of everything. I think it's really cool. The dragons. And then over here, got like, I love you, come on, hi, lol, thanks pool, you've got dice, you've got cards, versus, um, a broken gaming controller. Anyways, so, okay, so I got, like, 
it arrived after like three months, but before it arrived, <laughs> I ordered this package of stuff. Um, this one took a month to arrive and I paid $9.74 for four plates. Um, the last one was basically the same price, so I did get a discount. This was, I bought this on a sale, so I got $4.67 off. Originally, all four plates were $14.40 together. Um, so you might recognize uh, this one. So I rebought <laughs> this one and the gaming one because I wanted them so much, and I thought I wasn't getting them, and I got a refund, so I thought, well, I might as well rebuy them. So I got doubles. Um, but let's look at the two that are new. So Beauty Big Bang. And it's interesting that Beauty Big Bang has started packaging it like this instead of like this. And this, these sleeves are the reason why I didn't put my Beauty Big Bang ones into the um, books like this. Just because I thought the sleeves were really cute. Um, so anyways, let's look at this one first. So Beauty Big Bang Flowers XL003. And mainly, I just bought this for these faded images. I thought they were really cool. Yeah, I mean, I have lots of like other greenery stuff, so um, that one's really cool. I really like that. And then this one, it's a cactus plate, super cute. Um, so Beauty Big Bang Flowers XL005. And as you can see, it's got all sorts of cactuses. I really, really love these like faces that you can put on the cactuses. I thought that was really cute. And this image is awesome. Yeah. Okay, next up, this package I previously opened in that video where I was saying that my footage didn't turn out very well. So this one took Oh wow, this one took a long time. Oh yes, so this package, I remember um, I ordered it and then there was some problem with the shipping and it was actually sent back to them, but the company actually contacted me right away. This one's from Beauty Stock 365. Um, they contacted me right away and then they told me that they were reshipping it. So then they did send it to me, but it did take, so this one took like three months as well. Um, and it was $27.26 for all of the products that I have here. So I got some sparkles and powders and then a couple extra things in here. Okay, so let's just look at the sparkles that I got. So they're kind of like flake sparkles. I don't think I'm going to open it just because I don't want to make a mess, but I believe, or well, maybe I will open it. I believe that these ones you can use like as chrome powders as well. They're kind of like flake chrome powder stuff. Yeah, but regardless, the flakes are really pretty. It's kind of got a green shine to it. Anyways, and then this one, I think it's just diamond dust like glitter. Diamond dust glitter. And it looks really pretty. Oh, should I open it? This one's a little bit more full, which is nice. Oh, that's so pretty. And does this one like buff on? No, this one's more like glitter. Or it kind of is sticking, isn't it? And it was super pretty. And then I also got a blue sparkly one. It's kind of got like blue with like flecks of like turquoise and purple. I think maybe I'm not gonna open this one. I've kind of got sparkles everywhere already. So we'll leave that one alone. And then last but not least, this one, I think this one, this one is definitely a chrome, chrome powder, um, but it is a flake. And you can see it's a like color shifting. So it kind of goes gold, green, and like a red or maroon color. Oh, I'm afraid to open this one. Okay, uh, you can see there, there's like little flakes all around the edge there. 
There it is. So it's kind of like a foil. Yeah, a little like foil flakes almost. Really pretty. I'm just gonna move those aside because like, I'm starting to get a little crowded. Okay, and then part of that package was all of this stuff. So I got some charms. Um, I got these little guys. I think they're so cute. Like, I can't wait to use these. They're just like so adorable, <laughs> the little cherries. Oh yeah, so cute. Love it. And they are kind of curved on the back, so they do kind of like sit on your nail nicely, which is nice. Of course, I slide it off right away. Anyways, you got the idea. Really cute. And then I got these guys, which are really pretty. Oh, take all of them out except for two. Yeah, really pretty. Oh, what's going on with that one? Can you see that? Yeah, there's like almost like like a scratch look inside it or like crackle look. It's not what I was expecting. But it sits nicely on the nail. Nice size. They are quite big this way, but pretty. Okay, so this one's good. Is it just the one that's crackly? I hope so. Oh, here's another one. It's almost like it's got like weird worm inside of it. I mean, it's not a worm, but you can see what I mean. Like, it looks like a worm track. Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah, right there, you can see it. That's unfortunate. I mean, at least not all of them are like that. But this one, it almost looks like it's coming away. I mean, obviously they're not made really like, well, I mean, they were pretty cheap, but. Anyway, still pretty. I doubt anyone would notice the little like scratchy marks on the inside if when they've got it on the nail, but. Okay, and then these ones are so cute. Let's just take one out. <laughs> okay, I got more than one. Okay, so these ones are like the little dangly ones and it's like a little bow with a little pearl and a starfish. So what I'm thinking is you would just kinda maybe put it like that and then you have like this little charm bit hanging off. Yeah, super cute. I mean, I don't know how practical that is, but <laughs> super cute regardless. And then and then this one I bought in two colors, um, sort of like the more sort of rainbow color and then the sort of darker rainbow. This one I would say matches my new brushes. It just has a little pearl hanging down. Like that, super cute. Can you imagine that on like some kind of like, I don't know, like starry night nails or something? It'd be so cute. And then this guy. So you can see it's just a lighter color, but really pretty. Okay, and then we have this gold sparkle. It's a holographic gold sparkle. I'm not sure if I ordered this. I'm gonna have to check to see if this was a gift with purchase. I don't feel like I ordered this. I may have ordered the purple sparkle though. I mean, knowing me, I love purple. And that's a really pretty sparkle. And you get quite a good amount in here. I have no idea what I would have paid for this. If I can find that information, which I should be able to, I'll add it into the video so that you can see how much I actually paid for it. Okay, and then I got some stamping plates and these ones are Studio Ghibli stamping plates. I love like Studio Ghibli. Um, if you don't know what Studio Ghibli is, Studio Ghibli basically is like Disney, but in Japan. So they're like Japanese cartoons and then Disney picked them up and did 
dubs for them so that you do have it in English um, and a lot of them have really famous actors as their voices. This one is Howl's Moving Castle and the voice for Howl is actually um, Christian Bale. Um, so anyways, yeah, this is from Howl's Moving Castle. You got like turnip head and just some gears and stuff here it looks like. Yeah, cool. I mean, those images are pretty big. Like, you can't fit Howl and the girl on there. But anyways. Okay, and then this one is Spirited Away. That one actually won an Academy Award. Um, and yeah, you got like the characters here. You got No Face. You got like the baby when he's been turned into the little like, I don't know, rat thing. <laughs> it looks more like a... A gerbil, I guess. And then the little bird guy. Um, and the bathhouse there in the background. So really pretty. And then this one is a Totoro plate. So my neighbor Totoro. You got like the little acorns, some little mushrooms and stuff. You've got like Totoro, maybe with a leaf over his head and then Totoro sitting. And then here we got Kiki's Delivery Service. Really cute little movie. Kiki flying there. Little roses, her cat. Birds. And then this one. This one's a little bit of a mix. Um, so you've got like, I think the granny from um, Spirit Away and these guys from Spirit Away here. I believe this is maybe from Princess Mononoke. I'm not sure. Um, this is definitely from Totoro. This guy, yeah, I guess that's Princess Mononoke as well, I think. And then this is from Totoro, this little girl here. So it's a little bit of a mix, really cute. And last but not least, this one is Castle in the Sky. You got the little robot guy here. Yeah. So Studio Ghibli stamping plates. When I saw them, I had to at least get a couple of them. Next package, uh, it's a pretty simple little package. This one, um, this one took what, a month? Oh no, this one took only two weeks to arrive. Um, it's from the J-E-A-R-L-Y-U official store. Um, and I paid $9.60. And this one, open it. These are more containers for me to store my gems in. So all of these guys will go in here. Um, I got two of them. Um, and these are the same ones that I normally use. So just like this one that filled up. Um, they're really nice because it opens this way, but then you still have them in separate containers. And then each one, you know, opens separately, which is nice. Great containers. I really recommend these ones. I love them. I find them really useful. They're really good too if you do diamond paintings. You can put all your little drills in here. Okay, next. Okay, so sticking with the Totoro theme, this one uh, took about a month and a couple days to arrive. Um, I paid well, I paid $2.72 for the stickers, but then I paid $2.30 in shipping. I got three cents off. <laughs> so I paid a total of $5. And I believe I just got two of each. Yeah. So this one's the same. So as you can see, all the Studio Ghibli characters. So, um... Secret World of Arietti says Arietti. You got like Turnip Head. You got the cat in the hat. I guess that's not his character's name, but you know. Um, what's that one called? The Cat Returns? Yeah. It says Ponyo. You got a bunch of Ponyo here. Um, you got Poco Rosa. So you got a little bit of everything on here. It's got a lot. Yeah. Spirited Away. So. Anyways, pretty cool, pretty cute. I really like it. 
And then on this one, you've got mostly Totoro. And those little dust characters with the acorns, so cute. The cat bus, love the cat bus so much. Um, and then you've got uh, Kiki's delivery service. So the cat from Kiki. So I think that's it on this one. It's just Totoro and Kiki. Really cute. Yeah. Love it. Next up, let's see, what do I got here? I got some more stamping plates. Um, these ones are Nicole Diary. So these are from the Nicole Diary official store. Um, it took a month to arrive. And let's see, I paid $9.70, but then there was $9.22 in shipping. Wow, I'm a little shocked that I paid that. I normally try not to pay for shipping if I can. Um, and then it was a dollar 66 off so i paid a total of 17 dollars and 26 cents for these products plastic on these ones are a little bit better quality than the beauty big bang ones not that it matters it's just plastic over top of the stamping plate but you know the other one's just like ripped open <laughs> Um, okay, so this one is like all birds and flowers, really pretty. Nicole Diary 170. Really love the hummingbirds, so pretty. There too. I guess it's mostly hummingbirds, his, like another hummingbird. That's maybe like a sparrow. Okay, next. This one is Nicole Diary one. I mean, sorry, two twenty-two. That's like a special number, and it's all music stuff with flowers. I just thought this was so pretty, and I didn't have anything really with like music and instruments. Um, and I could totally see someone who's really into like instruments and music wanting something like this. It's really pretty, and we have another hummingbird on the microphone. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, and then next one. So, Nicole Diary 254. Really pretty, so I've got like leaves and little circles and lines and stuff. I find that this kind of image seems to be really popular right now um, when you're looking online. And then of course all the leaves and the different textures you can put behind and some cute little sayings like love, have fun, smile, good vibes, be happy, be kind. And what does this one say? Enjoy every day. Well, that's nice. So yeah. All right, next one. Nicole Diary 206. And this one's kind of like stamps. Like if you're mailing something and kind of like a stamp, kind of looks like that. Um, they're nice long images, so if you have a long nail, it will cover it. Okay, and then last but not least, what do I got here? I think this one's all baby stuff. I wanted to get a stamping plate for people who are like having babies and whatnot. I just thought it would be really cute. So we got, we got like pregnant ladies, we got baby's feet. Babies is like angels. You know, it's a boy, it's a girl. Bottles and baby and hearts and... I, I have some sprinkles that are kind of like this from when I worked at the cupcake shop. Really cute plate. Okay, this next package is also one that I opened in that video where the footage went bad. So um, this one, I've already used a little bit of the products out of here. Um, this one took just over two weeks to arrive. It's from Beauty Stock 360 and I paid, let's see, I paid $19. It was $1.22 in shipping. And then I got $3.39 off, so a total I paid $16.83. 
Okay, and so the first thing I'm gonna pull out is these. So I've been using them. I've been using them quite a bit. They're actually really good. So these are lint-free wipes. Um, they're quite thin, but they work really well and they definitely are lint-free. So I recommend them. They work really good. Okay, also in this package is all of this. All right, so. Oh, I got stuff stuffed in my sleeve. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of sparkles. I'm just gonna go through these really quickly. So we have some circles with little dots. Um, really pretty, just all different colors in a holographic glitter. And very similar. Oh, this one's got like little hearts all stuck to it. Um, so the cutout hearts and then the actual little hearts there. And in all different colors in the holographic. Super pretty. And then this one is just the medium size hearts. Kind of the same kind of thing, all in holographic, but you do have the um, clear ones there. Sort of like mylar pieces. I could be wrong, but I swear I just saw a star in here. Wouldn't be surprised. Pretty, really like that. And then I got the neon ones and the black ones. I thought those would be really cool, like the white and black ones especially. Yeah, really pretty. Just all different colors, matte. Okay, and then this one, just a little bit different colors than the other one, more pinks and reds and gold. And then the white ones. And, and then these guys, these kind of remind me of those like candies you get at Valentine's Day. It's like love, hug me, one says love. So cute. Yeah, really cute, really pretty. I guess these are little love cakes. <laughs> It'll be really fun to encapsulate those. And then I got these. So, um, if you guys saw my video with Aurora nails, it's, it's really not my best video. It's actually kind of disappointing. I, they didn't turn out as well as I hoped. Um, so I got these papers. I thought this would be kind of cool because there's already cut out pieces. And I think that was one of the hardest things was cutting out the pieces of mylar to like get the right shape of the nail in the shape that you want. Um, so these ones are pre-cut. So you just punch them out. I can see that. And it comes in many colors. So we got kind of like a pale pink and a brighter pink. And then this one's like an opaque purple. And then like more of a purpley raspberry color. Got yellow, or this is actually blue. I don't know, it's hard to tell when they're layered on top of each other, blue. It's like, look at my fingers if you wanna see what color it is. I guess this one's kind of like a gold turquoise color. Um, opaque sort of pink color. I guess that's kind of like a green blue to a red. It kind of shines like red. It's kind of orangey. I don't know, it's hard to describe. It's kind of neat. And then this one. Now I wonder, was this one looking orangey? Only, no, see it still looks orangey. Okay, I wasn't sure if maybe you could only see the orange flex because this one was underneath it, but. Anyway, so you, anyways, you get a lot in here. This one's kind of like a pinky purple blue. And then like the pink one. So. So I'm gonna have to try those out. I'm gonna have to redeem myself on those Aurora nails. I, I don't know. Some people said that they liked that video, but I think it was one of my worst art videos. <laughs> but thank you to everyone who has watched my art videos. I know that they're not that popular, but I've noticed that you guys seem to like my magnetic polished nails that I did. Yeah, thank you to everyone who's watched that and enjoyed that one. Okay, I'm gonna try and put this back. Okay, so let's move on to the next package. I still have a few things here to open. This might be a long video, sorry about that. All right, so my next package here, I got a couple stamping plates and an extra pair of cuticle clippers. Um, I just got the extra cuticle clippers just as a backup. Um, you know, it's always good to have a backup, I thought. 
So this one took just over two weeks, um, almost three weeks, I guess. It was $13.87 and it's from the Nail Pretty Store. Oops, just hit my lamp, okay. So I got two stamping plates. I specifically got this order mainly for this plate. Um, I had it in my cart for a long time and then I actually had someone over who was specifically looking for designs like this so I decided to go ahead and order it. Um, it's pretty cool. I like it because each image is like completely basically covers your nail. It's kind of like that mystic, I don't know, tarot card reading kind of designs, I guess. Yeah, it's cool. And then this one, I thought this kind of reminded me of like Billie Eilish, like in her music video with the black stuff running down her face. Um, but yeah, with the like vampire fangs with blood and stuff, and you got the handcuffs and the flames. Yeah, it's a pretty cool plate. All right, next, let's move on. <laughs> the next one, this one actually just arrived. Um, so this one took a month, just under a month to arrive. It's from the Full Beauty Nail Fun Store. And I paid $2.83 for the product. Um, it was $1.14 for shipping. I got 31 cents off, so it ended up being $3.67 Canadian. And these are abalone shell. So I'm excited to try this out. Um, I wanna try some nails with encapsulating these. I think it's really pretty. It seems like a trend. A trend that I wanna try. Perfect for summer. All right, next package. This one came in like, this one came in a big package for what it is. That's like, it's big like empty bag basically. Um, this one took two weeks to arrive and it's just this brush. It's an ombre brush, but different style ombre brush than the one that I have now. It's from shop 5066149 store and I paid $2.76 including shipping. And then it's funny because it's like, I don't know, what's this for, right? Seriously, it's like a broken bag. That's weird. Okay. And so the ombre brush that I normally use, um, where is it? And I like it, it works well. It's this one. So with the little like frayed tips. So that one works really well, but I thought I would try a slightly different style. I've seen a lot of people using this one. And it's kind of got the same kind of thing with the little ends on the bit, on the, oh, I got like a extra long hair again. See that? Can you see that? Maybe not. You can kind of see that little hair sticking out there. Yeah, right there, see? Anyways, um, I guess I'll have to trim that one too. But basically the ends of this one are a little bit like uneven, kind of like this one. Um, and it's supposed to, you're just supposed to dab it. So we'll see if this one works well, but I have gotten used to using this one. So I know we'll see what happens. Anyway, so I got that, it's cheap enough. Next up, I'm getting down to the end. I know I've opened a lot of stuff, but I just had a lot of stuff I wanted to open and I just haven't had time, so. Mm. This one took a month and a week to arrive. Um, I paid $3.96 for this CADS plate. There was a dollar 36 shipping, so total was 5.32, and it's from the Miss Goo Goo Nail Art Store. So this one is CADS Immaturity 025, and it is a gaming plate again. So we've got a little bit of a theme going on. I, I got it because I love the Game Boy like piece here. And then got all the little buttons and stuff so you can turn your nails into a controller. The like game over. Yeah. I think we can recognize a lot of these images. Got Tetris. <laughs> I think that's like it. The little machine where you try and grab the characters. I don't know what you call those things. The claw machine, I guess, the claw. Next, I got some stickers. Um, this one, once again, took about a month. I mean, on average, I'd say most things take about a month. I have seven 
seven books of stickers here, or whatever, and it was eight dollars and seventy-four cents. It's from the H J O M Nail Art and Makeup House Store on AliExpress. Okay, so we got some Alice in Wonderland stickers. Really cute. A drink me bottle, Mad Hatter hat. It's interesting though because like the images are kind of a little bit different. Like this looks a little bit more a sort of realistic type cartoon, whereas like Alice looks more like the actual cartoon movie. Um, and then you got the bunny here, so oh, they're a little bit different like images. The Treasure Cat, love him, love him so much. This is pretty cool. And the cards. <laughs> Oh, and then more Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, these images are a little bit more like the the rabbit over here. Like I would say that this guy kind of matches like these characters and the cards. Yeah, really cute. The little bottle again. <laughs> I love this guy. And I like this hat better actually for the Mad Hatter. I think that's really cool. Wait, and then we have some space stuff. Super cute. I love that guy. I love him. So cute. And the alien head. Right, and then we got some birds and flowers. Just some like simple, pretty stuff. Just there's no way you can like draw something like that on the nail. So really pretty, love the stickers. And unicorns, can't go wrong with unicorns. Really cute. <laughs> you got a unicorn cupcake. <laughs> I made a unicorn cupcake before. Maybe I'll add the picture for you to see. Okay, and then we got some cats. <laughs> I can help myself, they're just so cute. Love cats. Yeah, so really cute. Love them, look at this little cat with like the Easter bunny ears, <laughs> so cute. Okay, and then I feel like I've seen a lot of nails with these flowers, but I just thought that, you know, like my mom and stuff would really like this. I mean, I would like them on my nails, but I do kind of like more this kind of stuff as opposed to this, but really pretty, really pretty flowers, really delicate. Okay, next. Oh, okay, so this is the second to last package, I guess. And we got more stickers. Okay, so these poker stickers are from the Pony Tree Official Store. Um, they were a dollar each per thing. Um, I was a dollar twenty-seven for shipping, so in total I paid five dollars and twenty-seven cents. And this one took almost two months to arrive. That was a long time. Okay. So yeah, these ones are all um, poker stickers. And I think I just got two, yeah, so I just got two of each. Um, I've started buying my stickers kind of like this because I've been finding more and more that, um, you know, like when it comes to images like this, say you want to do this, well then those ones are all gone. So you can't do it on more than like two nails. So I started buying more, but what's funny is that like, these ones have a lot of like repetition, so I didn't necessarily need to buy two of both of them, but <laughs> anyways, that's okay. I love poker, so um, I'm sure I'll be using them. Really cute. Okay, and last of my packages before we start doing our swatches. So I got some more stamping plates. Just lots and lots of stamping plates in this video. So this one is from Moutine MT Nail Art Store. So this one took a month and a half to arrive. They were $2.31 each. 
there was a dollar ten shipping so I paid ten dollars and sixteen cents Canadian for these stamping plates and they sent me this water decal um, as a gift with purchase. So it's cute. It's back, well, I guess we should look a little closer. So it's Batgirl and Catwoman, I think. Oh, that's a racy looking Batgirl. I guess they're all kind of racy looking. Look at that cleavage. Okay. So another Alice in Wonderland. This one is all Alice in Wonderland. Um, really cute plate. Cheshire Cat, we got the keyholes, we got a lot of Alice. They're mostly silhouettes. Um, this one, what does it say? It's really hard to read. Oh, how I long to run away from mm, something. Yeah, it's really hard to read. Run wind with my imagination. Run, run wild, maybe? Run wild with my imagination. But I can't read the part in the middle. From normal days, I... Something. Anyways, we're all mad here. Got the Mad Hatter and the rabbit. So this is basically the same image, I think, as the stickers. Yeah, so you got him with the trumpet. It's like really cute. We have falling again, chasing the rabbit. Oh, and then the, the smoking caterpillar. And then this one says, we're all mad here as well. Anyways, cool, cool plate. Um, this one is Jack Skeleton, or I should say the Nightmare Before Christmas. But is that not the Treasure Cat again? <laughs> what character is that from from the Nightmare Before Christmas? I don't recognize him. There's right, cool play. His Sally, her Jack, Boo. <laughs> Yeah, cool, cool stamping plate. He's the Oogie Boogie Monster. And I just love his dog, whatever his dog's name was. I really need to watch that cartoon again, it was so cute. All right, next, this one, as you can see, I've already used. <laughs> um, so this one is, as you can see, all the uh, zodiac signs. So you've got the star sign and then the symbol or like the character, I guess, and then the symbol and then slightly different versions of the different symbols and characters. And I believe, yeah, they're all lined up. So it's like, this is all Libra, this is all Virgo, Taurus. So yeah, it makes it a little easier too when you're trying to figure out, okay, which symbol. Um, I'm Virgo and Libra, I'm right on the cusp. So I use both of those. And then we have a slightly larger version um, so this one, obviously, you need bigger nails for, like longer nails. But once again, it's nice because they're lined up. So, yeah, pretty plate. I like the detail of these characters. Oh, and we already looked at that one. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of clean up a little bit here and then we will go ahead and swatch everything. I think I have just a couple things to swatch. We're gonna do these guys and then the, oh, the magnetic polish. I think that's it. All right, I'll meet you back here in a second. For you, it is a second. For me, it'll be a couple minutes.
Okay, so these two polishes, I would say that you don't really want to use them as just like a regular nail polish. As you can see, they're super streaky. Um, I think what you would want to use them for is more like, you know, when people like use the gold as an accent or they outline the nail in like gold or something. I think you would do, use it that way. I don't think you would just use it as a regular polish because um, you can see all those streaks. And I was trying to apply it really smoothly, but I think it's because of the thickness and the way it wants to separate from the color. Um, but I mean, to be fair, the images that you see from the seller, they do kind of look like this, so. Okay, so I opened a lot of stuff in this video. I couldn't fit it all in frame. <laughs> it was quite a bit of stuff. So we're just gonna take first a look at the metallic paints. Here they are after they're set and after I put a top coat, I accidentally kind of touched them together in the light. So you can kind of see there. Um, but yeah, they don't really pull together like the other metallic paint. Like it looks like it wants to, but it's almost like because they've added the color, it wants to stay separated I don't know um, but yeah I think it would be good for doing like a frame around a nail like thin lines but I don't think it's good for like painting directly like a whole nail like that and um, so there's that and then we also have the magnetic polish and as you can see it looks pretty cool yeah, I really like this one it's really pretty okay and then we also opened all of the charms so I've already put them in this little case. I even put the little um, snowflakes in here. Really pretty. And then of course we have all of these guys that I also couldn't fit in frame. So all of these sparkles, all the hearts. And you might be asking why I got hearts because I basically didn't have any hearts and I realized that during Valentine's Day. So I ordered some. <laughs> That's why I have all those there. And then we have the ombre brush and all the brushes. We have the glitters. Um, I'm particularly looking forward to using this one. I know it's the most simple, but I just didn't have anything quite like it. We have all of these wonderful stickers. There's so many of them. Um, so we have to try out all those. And then we have this large stamping plate with all the cool cartoon characters and Marvel characters and DC and everything else. Um, and then we have all of these guys. So we have a lot here. So Nicole Diary, Beauty Big Bang, Mr. Fox, Hee Hee, Cads. So we got a lot going on there. We got the books, we've got the extra um, sparkles here. So if there's anything in particular you'd like to see me use, um, please leave a comment. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so that you get notified every time I post a new video. And I'll see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.